Hey, I'm Tara. And I'm Natalie. And this is Natalie and Tara Try Stuff, a show in which you try stuff for the first time. And today we are going to be making Cowboy Kent Rollins cinnamon rolls on in a Dutch oven that was sent to us by a subscriber with a lid lifter that was sent to us by a subscriber <laughs> in my trailer that was not sent to us by a subscriber. All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Well, hello there. Good morning. Welcome to my trailer. So today we are going to be making Cowboy Kent Rollins um, sourdough cinnamon rolls in a Dutch oven. <gasps> Scariest. Yes, oh. yes. Uh, we have a starter that Natalie has already prepared for us yesterday. There's a lot of debate about this starter. Is this enough? Is that enough starter? There's a potato in it. What's happening? Today we are going to be using um, a Dutch oven that was sent to us by Matthew Inman. Mm -hmm. And we have our lid lifter from Brendan C. Uh, we've used them once before. You can check out that video with Ke uh, Kent Ron's upside down pizza, which was delicious. Oh God, that was a good one. The story around the campfire right now from Natalie, this might not work out for us. I'm very scared about this recipe. Sour, sour, sourdough cinnamon rolls. I can't talk. So we're going to preheat the oven. There? No. Oh. That's what's funny about this there. is this recipe is written for doing it at home. Oh. And the video kept showing you how to do it out In here. The fire. So we don't need to preheat the oven. Okay. Can I tell you the second thing that's wrong? Go. We have a 10 inch Dutch oven. Oh no! And not a 12 inch Dutch oven. It's funny, I have access to eight 14 inch Dutch ovens, but no 12 inch Dutch no. oven. So we're gonna try to make it in the 10 inch. What we're gonna do is we'll put them in there and if they don't, if one doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. I'm yeah. trying to think of what that, what that kind of math is, like cinnamon roll algebra. We're like, that didn't fit in the equation. We're just gonna yeah, put it over gonna, here. It is, it's, it's very <laughs> complex. All right. Okay. Let's do so, it. We need a large bowl. Large bowl. Large bowl. We need the whisk that's in the bag. We need the whisk, starter, sugar, vegetable oil, and we're gonna need the salt. And then all the measuring cups and all the spoonsies. Now we're ready. Okay. In this large bowl, we need three cups of the starter. Before we use the starter, we have to stir it. Uh, oh, we need the yeast. I'm sorry. There's a packet of rapid rising yeast in there. Half a cup of sugar, okay. one teaspoon of salt. We have to add baking powder because we're at a higher altitude. Oh. Kent said, but I don't really know. Okay. I mean, I know how much, but I think it's in this moment. Yep. And I want to make sure. And vegetable oil is going in right now too. So oh. one third of a cup of vegetable oil. So whiskey that. Whiskey. Whisk it. Ah. When do I add the baking soda? It's your oh, one. what a beautiful morning! Anyone can fry meat and boil coffee, but a great Dutch oven cook is one who can bake bread and desserts in all conditions. I can barely do the first two. All right, great. So baking powder, Got two it. teaspoons. Two of these, two of these, two teaspoons, two teaspoons, two, two teaspoons. teaspoons, two, two, okay, two. Okay. okay, now let the mixture sit for one minute. So now we're gonna get the flour. We are gonna slowly stir in enough flour to form a soft dough that is no longer sticky. Turn the dough into a floured surface and roll about 12 by 18 inch rectangle. Okay. So now we're gonna roll this out on this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as big as it gets, basically? Basically, yeah. This is never going to be a rectangle. Yeah, I don't, I don't, how is he, how is he making rectangles happen? Kent, how are you working out shapes? Okay, okie dokie, what do I got next? So, now, we are evenly brushing on the melted butter onto the dough. Sprinkle the cinnamon and about a third a cup of sugar over the buttered dough, lightly rubbing it around on top of the dough. Use your judgment on how much butter, All of it. cinnamon, and sugar to use. We're gonna, Lifetime supply. We're gonna add more. Woo! That looks good. I mean, can you put too much butter? Like, what happens if I put? What is there like an OD of butter on this situation? Yeah. Will it not do a thing? Yeah. Will, will it, it not stick or something? Is there a, I need to know. What, actually, we what need I, to know because we're going all in on what this. What my risk factors are. <laughs> now we go cinnamon and sugar. Cinnamon and sugar. You can do it. Okay. Go for it. Are you wanna, do you like the like when there's a lot of cinnamon in the center? I hate it. Love it. I want it evenly distributed. I want like as much cinnamon as I can get on it. 
But there's normally like this, when, pe when you buy them, they're like this pocket of cinnamon in the very mm. center. I'm like, why? How is that? Yeah. No. How did that happen? Because it's also what you're always, what you're eating last too. And I'm mm -hmm. just like, it's all cinnamon. I'm supposed to spread this around. Yeah, so it's. That was just right on my hand. Okay. <laughs> You're, you're, you're a madman. Stop it. Stop it. There doesn't need any more down here. This is going to be pockets of, of, of... If you're going to put more, put it... Look at look how look how much thicker it is over here than it is over here. What is this space right here? Why are What's you waiting? Where? Give this where? some love right here. I can't even see it. There's a glare from the sun. Give it some love. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to roll this thing? Yeah. Now you're going to roll it a long way that way. Do you have any way. special instructions? Oh. Okay. The tighter the roll, the more rides you're going to get. Cut the roll into eight to ten one inch thick pieces. One inch is this much of my thumb. Thumb. <laughs> now I know. Can't use it as Rocky knife. Uh huh. And I have one oh. in LA. Uh. Yep. Yeah, Squishums. Okay. I will. You cutty cutty. I'll make them back into cinnamon rolls. Our cinnamon rolls are going to be cinnamon squares. Squares. Okay. All right. Actually, yeah. That. Yeah. You got it. You got it figured. Woo! I mean, it's still not a. Circle. That looks great, though. Okay, that's getting better. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yes. There you go. I'm getting the hang of it. Yep, yep, yep. That's, yes. How many? Yes. How many of these do I already have? Yeah. Eight to ten. Well, that's eight. I'm gonna have way more than eight to ten. Those are one-inch cuts. <laughs> we were me we've measured everything. <laughs> measured twice, cut once. How is cinnamon roll math so hard? He's gonna put butter in there. <gasps> the rest of the butter. Okay, so I'm gonna put these in here. Okay. Okay. That looks impressive. Let's hope so. <laughs> so far, so good. So now we have to wait 45 minutes for these guys to just rise. That's what it sounds like. Cool. So we're gonna let this sit for 45 minutes. Yeah. In a warm spot. In a warm spot. Which is Utah. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys in 45 <laughs> minutes. Okay, it's been about 45 minutes, a little less, because for some reason they were already expanding and we're ready to put it on the heat, which involves those coals coming this way into a circle and on top. I'm not really sure. I'm just glad we have adult supervision for this. Also, also look at our fancy cute Kent Rollins um, trivet. So, <laughs> all right, let's make that happen. Kent said that in 10 minutes he had rotated it twice. Rotated it. Rotated it. Yeah, so that's the rotating the lid one direction and the bottom the other direction within 10 minutes though. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to babysit this guy. Yeah. I'm scared. Breakfast, Breakfast, hours later. It really wasn't, but no. it felt like it because we were checking it every three seconds. Yes. Now, we feast. Yum, yum, yum. Wow, that looks so good. Right? We, we, we were having a little problem getting the top to cook, because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when, when Kent did it, you removed it from the, the heat from the top and still had, the bottom had some cooking to do. Right. But we had the same time everything was done, so. That. Oh! <gasps> How is this going? Oh my God, so well. How so did that work out perfect? Well, how did that? I made a freaking cinnamon roll. <laughs> okay, okay, we gotta drizzle some stuffy stuff on here. <gasps> oh my goodness. Holy, 
Holy snikes, guys. Look how clean they came out. That's pretty impressive. Uh, yeah, no kidding. You killed this. Mm -hmm. Okay, drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Here we okay. go. Ready? Yes. <laughs> we freaking nailed it. How do we do that? How do we do that? I don't know. How do we do? How do we make? How do we? I don't we, know. I do, thought for sure this was gonna turn into. A I'm hockey gonna eat butt. that whole pan. These mm. are so good. Wowza. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Holy moly. That's perfect. Wait, get that cinnamon and sugar that's over there. I want to sprinkle okay. it on there. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh yeah. That is a really good recipe. Oh yeah. It's I delicious. can't believe we nailed that. I don't know how we did. I, I think something something must have. Some magical fairy was on our side this today or something. I don't know. The cinnamon toast crunch fairy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The breakfast fairy. Mm -hmm. That's how it is. That's how it's done right there. Okay. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculously good. You must do this recipe. It's online. There's a there's a home version of it for mm -hmm. you. This I mean. Get the cookbook. No, the cookbook. Yes, cookbook. Get this, Kent Rollins. The video could not be cuter. Mm -hmm. And there's a there's a way to do it in your house. And like, oh, next time you want to mm. impress somebody, and they they they're they're you got house gas or something. Like, do this. This is great. Oh, I've inhaled almost this entire thing while you're talking. <laughs> so a big thank you to Matthew Inman and Brandon C for sending us the Dutch oven and the lid lifter. Uh, and we'll put it to use more often. Thank you, Kent, for letting us use your recipe mm -hmm. from your cookbook and your video and your website and all the Just things. Being an, a person who exists and is adorable and wonderful and bringing light and life to the world. So Kent has a, a, a coffee shop opening up in Texas. We are gonna have to go. Oh, we gotta go. Right? We gotta go do that. I think so. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. anyway. Oh. Wrapping it up. Wrap it up. And have another one. And yes, eat another <laughs> one. I'm Tara. I'm Natalie. This was Natalie and Tara Try Stuff. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell so that you always know what's coming up. And uh, that's enough. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I'm busy. Mm. Oh my god. That was freaking good. Mmm.